hello and welcome back again to my channel today is a wayfair inspired diy yes so i found these gold leaf sculptures on wayfair that is selling for 75 dollars us and i thought why not try to do something fun with this okay so to get started with this you just go on to google and basically search up forest leaves sketch or sketches and you will have a bunch of leaves because of course Nora wants to do it her own way so I will be doing some different kind of leaves I'm not doing it exactly the same so we would just get right into it choose what you want and you will see what I will be doing before we get into it if you're new to my channel please do hit that subscribe button and join my new bedroom family for my returning subscribers thank you for coming back now let's dig in so as you can see I already have my leaves cut out and of course there is some maple leaf because oh Canada <laughs> anyways all right I know I play a lot so I already had my leaves cut out to save you all some time and I will be using my parchment paper to actually do the craft over it because of course as you all know from my previous videos if you're looking to doing any kind of craft with hot glue the ideal surface would be parchment paper or you could use glass and have this lane over it anyways in my case we're doing parchment paper and I will be using some skewers to create the center of my leaves so just watch as I do this okay so just a quick disclaimer here so this by no means compares to Wayfair's um, set of three sculpture gold leaf sculpture all right so this is just me showing you alternatives budget friendly alternatives for getting a similar look especially for students okay if you're looking to glam up your living your room space or your hostel you can try this alternative if you're also looking to doing some exciting crafts with kids you can also do this or if you're just frugal and you do not just want to spend $75 on some leaf sculpture you can do this all right for me I enjoy doing this for fun and here we are so let's get crafting baby and flex our crafting muscles all right so now that I was done tracing the lines on the front of the leaves I will go ahead to do the same on the back as well once it is dry okay so this is just so it's really firm and to be honest with you this is quite heavy because I use quite a lot of glue I used one and a half glue stick per leaf I think almost two and uh, this is just so it is really sturdy when you have it placed standing up show that hot glue no mercy all right use it so I used a generous amount of hot glue on the back as well and set it aside to dry and then moved on to the next This is also considered a Dollar Tree DIY home decor 2021 because almost all items that I am using in this video are from the Dollar Tree. The skewers, the hot glue, and also the Jenga blocks that you will see me use. Okay, so yeah, it is a Dollar Tree DIY and a very, very easy one at that. This DIY room decor Dollar Tree is super affordable and the outcome is very beautiful and to be honest with you guys if you didn't see me do this and i showed you the final work you honestly would think this was something out from the store so don't be too quick to rule it out okay besides it is a it's an ideal room decor for kids room because they can't break it <laughs> anyways let's keep going I have some exciting news to share with you all in due time uh, but for now I would say to stay tuned and just wait for it okay I'm very very excited about this and I've been trying to stay calm about it but in due time I'm definitely gonna share with you all okay so stay tuned stay tuned and stay tuned <laughs> are you still watching <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Well, as it is the tradition on Norwich's Nook, it's that time of the day in the video of Wednesdays. Please do comment hot glue if you've watched right up to this point. If you're new to the channel, this is the tradition in the Norwich's Nook community, okay? <laughs> There's always a keyword in every video. So please do comment 
hot glue in the comment section and show your girls some love. Thank you so much. So if you're looking for craft ideas with hot glue gone, you're in the right place. So this is just some of the craft that I will be bringing to you using hot glue as I have many more coming up on this channel. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and join this family for many more exciting DIY projects. Okay, so now our leaves are all set and ready for spraying. Okay, this is very heavy and has the same weight as I would have used clay. I will be using my gold metallic spray from Design Master, of course my favorite, and voila. So um, this you want to leave to dry properly before you go ahead to attach them onto the stand. For the stand, I will be using some Jenga blocks and some wooden bits. Okay, and also I will paint um, the Jenga blocks black using this acrylic paint. Just watch as I do this. So once my painted blocks were dry, I went ahead to attach the leaves onto the stand. Okay, so here is the dried um, black painted Jenga blocks. I didn't paint the wooden beads, I felt it looked really good over the black and gold, so we will keep that as is, right? At first I tried this method to attach them, so I used the glue on the stem and then pulled the bead up, but realized that uh, it, um, when I cut off the, the excess on the those wooden skewers, it didn't actually stand properly on the wooden, on the, on the Jenga blocks, so I changed strategy. I was trying to attach them and realized that I didn't cut them properly so I used my pincher I don't, I'm not sure what this is called to be honest and actually cut them even shorter and this time around I will actually be putting the hot glue in the hole on the wooden beads and then have them glued onto the Jenga blocks so it's properly glued down and then have the skewers go through the hole which is now filled with hot glue so that way it is really really sturdy you get so now i will go ahead and do the same for the rest of the leaves so just watch as i complete this thank you if you want to have a, an even more sturdier look you can actually use gorilla glue of course the famous gorilla glue for this instead of hot glue how do you see this? We're using hot glue to glue down hot glue. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so that is the final one that I have glued down. And here is all three of our gold leaf decor DIY. So, and this is our final look. I really love the outcome for this DIY room decor Dollar Tree or craft ideas with hot glue gun or this Wayfair inspired DIY sculptures. I just really love how easy this actually is and even more so how really beautiful they look. They do not look like hot glue at all when you do look at them up close to be honest with you. Again, it is a budget friendly Dollar Tree DIY that can be done by anyone if you're looking to do something budget friendly for yourself. Okay? So you go ahead and do try this and to let me know in the comment section what you think about this particular DIY. And so that brings us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.